up and down and in and out, and he's adjusted with players in different positions all over the place this year. He's had a terrific job. Boquist centers right onto the stick of Maroon. The puck not frozen by Nedeljkovic, and finally he's able to smother it. He had a tip-in opportunity. He gets to the back door after starting the forecheck. Lauko and Boquist are buzzing around below the goal line, and that's against that third pair for the Penguins. We'll have to watch how they use them in this game, but Maroon gets to the back door and St. Ivan, he's not able to... Allmark got knocked down in the net as the puck carried him into the corner off the drive from the point. Now Marcus Pedersen, that one tipped by Michael Bunting and had a lot of bounce by Allmark, who is sharp early on. Carlson, 1,000th career game with three different teams, Ottawa, San Jose, and now the Penguins in his first year. Free puck came right to Brian Rust. It's still free and centered by Crosby, but they couldn't carry him in. From St. Ivan, he got knocked off the puck. Mike Sullivan has the two rookies out there killing this penalty. Here's Posternock back for McAvoy. High slot, rebound, and that one might have hit the goal post. A power play that hasn't been very good of late, and there's Posternock around the side of the net with Marshand, he just chips this on the backhand. You'll see it off Nadelkovic and a little backhand chip from Pasternak off the left post. Coach Stanton Heinen at Denver. Jim won a national championship behind the Pioneer bench in 2017. Pasternak hit the post again. And the Karen came off the back of Nadelkovic. Eller on the forehand had to spin away from Carlo. And then Riley Smith fanned on it as he came moving down the slot. Boston three on two, but not a lot of gas in the tag after the effort in their own zone. Here's Peak, the trailer, out in front, hoping for a tip and they score. Jammed in by Jake DeBrusque at the net front. And Boston has a one nothing lead. Defensively, DeBrusque got his 19th of the year. Andrew Peak throws this to the front of the net. As you see, Pedersen and Riley Smith vacate the front of the net. DeBrusque is going to get in front of Raquel and punch this through the legs of Nadelkovic as the Bruins get the first goal again. That's, well, that's good news. Be a factor in the race to win the Stanley Cup in the postseason. They'll need a lot more out of him. Yeah, that's good news for them, though, isn't it? Another forward that can punch some goals in. Now Grizzly rebound score! Pavel Zonka! And just like that, it's two to nothing. Crest of Nadelkovic as he comes into the middle of the ice. And this puck bounces past Theo Joseph way out into the slot. And Zok is just going to the front of the net and he makes a terrific finish. He beats Nadelkovic over the glove. A, a loose rebound, one he won't like. Now what a chore against a really good Bruins team with a goaltender playing really well. There's O'Connor with some room. Out in front of the score! Tipped in by Brian Rust! Favorite players is Brian Rust because of the way that he plays the game simple, straight ahead. The way that Sidney Crosby likes it to be played, if you're playing on this line, you have to play fast and direct. Drew O'Connor has grown into this. This is a terrific play from O'Connor. He used his size and strength to go down the boards. A terrific skater. And Brian Russ. And that line has carried the Penguins. Russ, seven goals in 11 games. And, of course, Crosby's just been incredible since the middle of the march. Pasternak has Heinen out in front of the net. Goes to Shattenkirk. He scores! Kevin Shattenkirk with the wrister. In the top left corner. And Boston back to a two goal lead. 950 is on the board. Pasternak hit two goal posts and he makes a terrific play. Bing and in. Right through the seam. The Shattenkirk shot beats Nadelkovic over the shoulder and the Bruins quickly back to that two goal lead on Kevin Shattenkirk's goal. And Lindholm for Coyle, who directed it in. Tristan Jari on in relief of Alex Nedeljkovic. Didn't look like Carlson saw it coming. 
So the Bruins picked it up. Marshan scores! A shorthanded goal. The crowd can't believe it. It's as if Carlson didn't know the puck was nearby. The Bruins said, thank you, we'll take it. And Marshan has the shorty. Goals on the air and this misplay from Jari and Carlson. I think Carlson thinks there's another forward there. He saw the puck, I think, Sean, and didn't really react to it because he thinks he's got help coming on the boards. But Marshan goes to the forehand. That's the first shot Tristan Jari has faced. Wow. It's in the net. And a stunning deep to the forehand, and it's in the net. Malkin centers for Bunting, and they score! Picked in at the top of the crease. A power play goal for Pittsburgh. And they're back within two. They had been 0 for 12. Feels like a must-have, and Michael Bunting, who's done a terrific job since coming over in the trade for Jake Gensel is standing right on the blue paint where he's been most of the night. And you'll see this puck squeak between the post and the pants of Olmark as Bunting just pushes himself out into a little bit of a passing spot from a couple of feet. Bunting's on the board again, and it's now 4-2. He's been a nice addition. There was a lot of angst here, and understandably so. With Pasternak established the zone. Ricochets back to the line. McAvoy wanted to one-time it, but it wasn't in a good spot for him. Eller sends it ahead for O'Connor, making a move through Marshan. Drew O'Connor scores! A short-handed goal for Pittsburgh! Oh, there is going to be a penalty on Boston as well if O'Connor had not scored. Turnover by McAvoy in the offensive zone. That puck has to go deep. When it doesn't, O'Connor recognizes that Brad Marchand's the only defender back. He pushes it by Marchand, uses his size and speed, and scores him. They noted earlier he's taken 195 more face-offs than anybody else in the league, and he'll be out there for most of the important ones the rest of the way. Boquist a shot! Has a can right to him, and now the puck winds up off the back wall. Here's Frederick. Loco centers one, and Geeky scores! Morgan Geeky, a huge goal for Boston. They're back up by two with 5.50 to go. To make a terrific play. Frederick will roll this around the boards, and as Shea goes to the puck, he doesn't deny the pass. Or well, he actually, he just misses it. He doesn't quite get there in time. And Geeky, who's had a tremendous year in his first year in Boston, not qualified in the summer from Seattle, he makes it five. Crosby couldn't get it in deep. Zaka got in the way under three minutes to go. Boston leading five to three. Net empty. Extra attacker on. Carlson lost the puck. It's free for Danton Heinen. Empty net goal! Danton Heinen, the former Penguin, delivers a huge blow to the playoff hopes of his former team. Well, that'll do it for today. There's not anywhere to go along the blue line. Carlson's trying to dance there to keep the play alive. Heinen makes the defensive play to poke it over to Pasternak. And dead center for Dan. You've still, you're still in it. And it's going to be hard to shake that tonight. That's This is a tough loss. Yes, indeed. Bunting scores! They're not dead yet tonight. Michael Bunting. His second goal of the game. Slot. Bunting will one-time this. Yeah, he's capable. Yep. Just frustratingly uh, inconsistent for Bruins fans. Here's Pasternak, Jari's back in, killed the goalie shot, stopped by Jari at the buzzer.